Hey guys, it's Nick from Outdoors Nation. Today we're going to be disassembling and reassembling your Mossberg 500 shotgun. This is done the exact same way with the Mossberg 590, and it's very similar to the Mossberg Maverick and all other Mossberg pump action shotguns. To start, we're going to safety check the gun. Chamber's empty, nothing in the magazine. So at this point, we're going to start by taking off the barrel now. What you do to take off the barrel is bring the slide back part way, and then undo the barrel nut. Once the barrel nut's fully loosened, it should just lift right off. Alright, so this gun is a single pin takedown, that's what makes it mil spec. So you have the one dimpled pin right here. You're going to take whatever you're using as a punch and simply just pop it out. It's going to come out the other side and you can just pull it the rest of the way. Once it's out, your trigger assembly will come right out. At this point, you can then move your bolt forwards and your two arms are going to come off the sides. Then you can pull them right out. At this point, your bolt carrier should just lift right out. Your slide slides fully out. You can then lift up your riser and push your bolt out through the front of the receiver. For the final part of the disassembly, you just pinch the lift arms together and it comes free of the receiver. And now you have a fully stripped receiver. To start putting it back together, you're going to take your arms, squeeze them back together, line the pins up on each side with the holes in your receiver, and put it back in. Take your bolt and slide it back in the same way it came out through the front of the gun, pressing downward on it seat it in place and then keep sliding it back until it's in the position you like. Take your pump, slide that back. You're going to need to take the two bars and pull them in a little bit to get it to line up. Back and in. To get it fully back you may need to pick up, pull down, wiggle some stuff around, but you should be able to eventually work it so it slides back into the gun. Take your bolt carrier and that should perfectly line up with this cutout right here. So what you want to do is move the two notches in your slide arms to where you can drop these two wings on the carrier into them. And also maneuver the bolt where the receiver is going to latch in. It's hard to see in this angle. There we go. Once it clicks into place like that, you should be able to press down on the carrier and be able to work the action. At this point, you take your bars on the sides, put one in, one has a pin as you can see just like the razors did. That goes in the side. The other one's going to go on the other side. Both of them go with the hooks towards the muzzle of the gun. Once they're in, you got to keep them balanced in there while you do this. Take your trigger grouping, front in first, let it go in. Keep forwards pressure as you press it down and in. Take your pin, press it back into place. Now the action works. You're going to put the slide back and then halfway again. Drop your barrel straight back on. Screw it back down. And there's your gun. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe, we're going to be putting out a new video every Friday.